Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Blades to Be shop. I have a quick video for you today. I had a question about the tack setup I have on this lathe. So I thought, hey, I'll just make a quick video and show you what I did to uh, set the tack up on here and get this working. The uh, the tack, this just came from Amazon. It's just a, a $15 digital tack, 15 or $20. You can find them on amazon.com. The The housing, this little aluminum housing I got from Mauser Electronics. And uh, I'll post the part number for that, uh, or I'll just drop a quick picture in here and show you what the part number for that is on Mauser. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I have some other pictures for when I was cutting this out. So I'll try to drop in a couple other pictures about it, but let me turn this around and just show you a quick video of the, the setup and how I got the magnet and the sensor and everything set up on this one. All right, almost forgot, you also need a power supply to run the tack. So I think it says it can run on a 12 or a 24 volt power supply. It was recommended to me to go with the 12 volt. So my 12 volt power supply is actually in my VFD enclosure. So I've got it built in and uh, it's just wired off of my 120. I've got a power supply in there. However, instead of a built-in power supply, you could just use a small transformer. I just picked this up off Amazon as well. So that's a 12 volt power supply that I have on my milling machine. And that is running this halo light that I set up underneath my spindle. These halo lights, pick those up off Amazon and they're just uh, 12 volt automotive lights and just use that little transformer plugged into the wall to run that 12 volt. You'd be able to do something just like that on the tack as well. So like I say, I'll drop in the, the picture and the part number for that power supply if you don't have some other form of power to run your tack. So here it is from the back, just took a piece of aluminum angle iron, made a little aluminum bracket to be able to mount that right underneath my DRO, drilled and tapped a couple of screws in the back of that enclosure. So just, you know, drilled the hole, ran a fitting in there. I uh, put some of this plastic wire cover stuff on here just to make sure that chips and everything aren't cutting my wires. And obviously had to mill out the front of this enclosure to get that tack to fit in there. And it looks nice, just mounts nice and tight underneath that enclosure. Then on this cover, this is a, my lathe has a fiberglass cover on here. So all I did was took a Dremel and I just ground out a little notch, just enough to get my two wires through. And uh, we'll pull the cover off here and take a look at what's underneath. So there's that cover, able to notch that out enough on the back. Didn't even have to go through that fiberglass all the way. Just notch that out enough for two wires to be able to go down there. Worked out pretty well. And then on the lathe, mine, it's actually not on the parts diagram, but this ring was already on here. It's got several holes around it. Right now they're covered up with black tape, so you can't actually see all the holes but there's a series of holes around this ring. A couple of them are set screws. So it's just a metal ring that's set screws locked onto the backside of the spindle. It's clear of the cover, you got plenty of room. It would still be able to put a spider or something out here and that wouldn't interfere at all with this ring. So all I did was I took one of those holes and I just took a 10 millimeter drill bit. That's what size my magnet was. Took one of these holes, took a 10 millimeter drill, drilled in there, you know, just an eighth of an inch or so to open it up and stuck my, dropped my magnet down in there. We'll find which one here. That is my magnet right there. I just pushed on it with my fingernail. So just open that hole up a little bit dropped my magnet in there and I just stuck some black tape. I always meant to come back and put some epoxy on that and uh, really epoxy that magnet into place, but never had the need to, it just works fine. Just a little bit of black tape on there. And uh, again, that way, if I ever need to move it, do something with it, uh, be able to pull that magnet out. So that's it, just drop that in. And then to make the bracket for the sensor, just took another piece of angle iron. Um, I had an existing hole tapped in this casting on my lathe. 
So you see in behind that, it was already, you know, that was already tapped. And all I had to do was make a spacer to come out around there, bolt on a piece of angle iron and mount my sensor. So I ended up, didn't drill anything into the lathe, just use that existing tapped hole, use this ring. And if you didn't have a ring on here, it would be really simple. I mean, all you'd have to do is find a piece of pipe and you know, find a piece of pipe big enough to fit over your spindle, machine it so it's got a nice tight fit, drill and tap a couple of set screws around it, and then drill a hole for your magnet. So if you don't already have a collar or something like that, it would be really straightforward to be able to make one to drop on there. So run your wires, you know, left the covering, except for where those wires go through the housing. Just leave that stripped off. The housing goes over and covers that up. One zip strip to hold the wires out of the way and works great. Just goes right back up, plugs into the back of the tack. Well, there it is, YouTube. Pretty straightforward, short and sweet video today on how to set up a tack on your lathe. So hopefully that gave you some ideas on how you can set this up on your machine. Most, a lot of lathes are variable speed these days, but even if you don't have variable speed, maybe you still just want to have a tack on there to check out the, the speed of your gears and just see where things are going, be able to glance over, make sure you've got it in the right speed. Whatever the case may be, uh, hopefully this will give you some tips on how to do that. So as always, appreciate you watching. Stay in the shop. Keep making things. Keep making some chips. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.